Hi, uh, John Wanoa here, Auckland. It's um, Wednesday today, 30th of um, February 2013. Just want to show you the uh, Waitangi Tribunal claim I'm just going through at the moment. Uh, putting a new uh, number uh, together for the uh, Maui Uetaha uh, claim. That's on the East Coast um, uh, area of um, Te Araroa, East Cape. Uh, we don't come under the Ngāti Pro iwi, um, Whakapapa, uh, because it hasn't got a, it's, it's a corporate company, Crown Company, hasn't got its own um, uh, genealogy, and it's taken it from our hapu. Uh, so I'm going under our chief, um, Uetaha, uh, he's the chief of the uh, Potikirua Ki Waiapu area, uh, that's the true story, and his uh, marae is our Marangaro marae, they've changed it to Aotearoa marae now, uh, on the Marangaro blocks, uh, and his wife is, uh, was um, Rungawai Tāpui, that's the marae in Te Araroa on the beach. Uh, so they've changed that to Hinerope. And so I'm um, putting this claim together because the history is quite different to every other history in that area. Uh, you've got um, Rua Waipu, Ua, uh, Ua and uh, Te Ateangao Hauti, the three uh, different hapus. So those are um, more in line with uh, the original uh, land people there, but I'm going a stage further back from there to to claim Uetaha uh, as the um, uh, Wānoa side of the Marais uh, that we um, um, belong to, and uh, calling it the Hapu of Uetaha. And the, I went through this with um, Rangi Te Ekua Karaka, uh, he's the uh, chief on the marae at uh, Marangaro. Uh, so he told me the story about Uetaha uh, being up on the hill, uh, Mokonui. Uh, that's the hill I, I'm joining to Rapanui, uh, East Island, and uh, the true story of the original spirit of this uh, country uh, linked to Raiate. Island, Tahiti. So I'm talking about a straight male bloodline Tahiti title here in the Polynesian um, Pacific Ring of Fire area boundary and the island of Mu, or country of Mu, that's just about to erupt back from under the sea back up again. So we are linking all of that title to the seabed, to the land under the sea. Uh, between here, East Island, Hawaii, um, up to uh, Samoa, Tonga, and um, yes, uh, so uh, we've got somebody cutting in here, but they can wait. Um, wanted to talk. So we're linking the um, history of our ancestors, the ancestral inheritance, straight to that area ahead of anybody else uh, to the sun god Ra that this chief Uetaha is on the high hill of his Urupa, Mokonui Urupa the Wānoa homesteads dotted around through the Potikirua area, Tikitiki down to Rangituke that way and down to uh, Poroporo Maraihara Maraihara and up to Whakaangiangi the back and down to um, uh, Pōtaka, uh, Hex Bay, uh, through to Te Araroa and East Cape Horoera. So you've got one or homesteads and the marae is linked together. This is quite different to every other history that's been put in front of the Crown. I've got the last claim to go in even after the settlements uh, of the Crown uh, and they have um, uh, not 
finished their claim, Sue Nakora stopped it, the Nati Pro uh, Settlement Act 2012 has been stopped. I'm coming in afterwards with this claim that will go right over the top of them uh, with Sue's um, um, backup, with the Ua Pohatu claim of the Rokomara Range hills down to the Rokomara Basin in the seabed, that title there, and me on the Taha Wanua land at Lotton Point, linked up with uh, Uetaha on top of the Mokonui Hill. So he, um, he um, there's a, a, a story to it that uh, Rangiti Ekwa uh, told me that the stream, uh, Tangikaroro stream running through our land block at our homestead, there's another stream going down the other side, so I can't think of it at the moment, uh, going on to the Marangaro block towards uh, the Marangaro road going from the Marae uh, to Tepito on the East Cape with the sunrise. Okay? So these are significant points, marks to the rest of the world, to the rest of this country, how it became known uh, at that time. Now, no one's ever spoken about this before because it's been hidden. And you see uh, it coming out now uh, with the Pope. I'm challenging the Pope and the Queen with our Moai statue. That's our Wānoa people of Rāyate. That's where the Tikanga law of this land comes from uh, that we use as pure law, no, no written stuff. It's all um, hieroglyphic on stone. The signature, my at the back, that's our title. He's standing in London. Uh, Queen Elizabeth, the second great court, been there for over 100, 140 years. That belongs to us, our people. Okay? So that's our title there, and um, uh, connected to Ra Sun God, the East Cape. That's the first sun in the world, and that is at 6 a.m. 6, 6 a.m. and Ghana, Ekra, is, is um, 12 hours behind us. So there's 6 here till daylight and East Island is midnight. Okay, so those are the three points that link up to that point at Tepito East Cape to Tepito on East Island. So these are Hawaiian, uh, Tahitian names. Okay, Tahitian names linked to the world title, right? to New Zealand title, and to the Pacific title. Okay, so this is where this new treaty claim comes in, where the British breached our sovereignty, our sovereignty, not everybody else's. I'm talking about Uetaha and Wānoa and Moa, sovereignty. So our British lawyers, Julian in Falconer, is putting that together, I'm putting this together, uh, for Charles Hirschfeld, he's the criminal barrister here. I hope this ready on Friday for him, and Julian Falconer in Britain. So. He's another barrister. So you've got two crack shot barristers with Moai. Can't go wrong. Right? And the people over here who are using the Crown and their own whakapapa got a problem now with Moai. You have to refute it. No one's done that yet. Right? I'm just explaining this. That um, we, have, we have all this history to put in front of the Crown <coughs> and they're still waiting for the 28th of this month when this runs out. Okay, so I've got to get this done before the 28th of the month and that's it. It's lodged. Even after the Crown, which is the corporate company offshore in London, the Rothschilds owns the Crown. They're over here. They don't belong here. They're another company. And they get the bill for that, for getting it wrong. Right? The Crown has got it wrong here. They're operating their business here. The British 
row and the parasols got about to pick with you. And the government of New Zealand's company, Her Majesty the Queen and Right New Zealand. Here, two corporate companies got their name on this treaty claim that I'm doing. Okay? So they're up against Moai Powerhouse Group Limited corporate company in London and Naatua e Wa Aotea Limited Company in New Zealand. So those are two corporate companies against those two corporate companies and every other trust company in this country and every other business in this country. Right? So you've got to come up with something pretty good to come up against Moai title. Right? He's a stone, don't forget. He's a few years old than anybody before they came on his lands. Okay? So, we'll put that together and we'll let you know how we get on uh, with the Crown and the lawyers. It's a lawyer's job now, law against law. Alright, so with this mischievous government here, the Crown has now got to explain to the other Crown in London how they got it all wrong. Listening to Maoris here, Maori is not a native word belongs to the crown. Okay? Iwi is not a native word, belongs to the crown in England. Rotra. You see? So there's only hapu and there's no such uh, uh, tribe as Iwis who are taking all the money of the taxpayers. It's all wrong. They have to give it all back because all that money that Tainui's got and uh, Naitahu, wrong whakababa. Okay? Wrong place, wrong time. You got the wrong history. Okay? Just want to tell you. True story. So, it's court. Anybody wants to go to court? A bit late now because there's over 3,000 here for David's. Moais, no one bothered to refute. They just ignored them. Oh well, that's up against them now when the lawyers uh, stand in court. It's easy, relatively easy, to win a case. Okay, so I just thought I'd do a little video just to update you on where we are with this um, uh, investment funding that's stuck over in Malaysia. So anybody wants to help me to get it from there to here, we're on the way. We've got the Maori Confederation waiting to go to the UN to get the seat, the Maori uh, seat, on the uh, UN Council. It belongs to the Maoris. They're the ones, the hapus of the time, not to anybody else with a, with a different kaka papa. Okay? And so we've got to go to the Hague World Court, already in there now, with my lawyer. And all it's do is just write up with all the documents. Here they are here. Here's all the why don't you send me this, Tribunal? And so I just didn't have the time to do it. I'm just trying to make time now because we've been doing a lot of work on Facebook to get these uh, facts out, and those are our witnesses. Everybody on Facebook looking at all these documents I've got sitting on there, and this one. All, right, all the, um, um, this, when I put the report, I'll put it on Facebook so everybody can see. You right? can't escape the truth of the matter. So then we'll see what the churches have been up to. The, the Church of England and the Catholic Church is here. The Pope is run off, you see, because they've been putting the pressure on them and other people around the world as well for their murders of their children and the American Indians. They've buried them in the churchyards. This is how evil the churches have been, the devil, all along. You see, because they've stolen our Moai. They've stolen the obelisk of the black Nubians. Now they want to put a black Pope in there. <laughs> not going to wear it. Right, they put the Ghana guy in there because he's not from Giza where those uh, obelisks they've got in the middle of Rome uh, is from Giza in North Africa, not on West Africa where the Ghana fellow comes from. He's there for the sun, right? They're, they're, they're cunning, these white people, these white skinned people. They haven't got a brain in their head. They're using the black man's original history to claim the sun, right, 12, 
right? Uh, 12 hours behind us over here in Jezreel, at like the East Cape, on the land block, where we're Tahas and Wanoa, uh, Moai. Okay? I'm going to put a Moai there, point them straight to the Makemake planet in the universe, so that'll finish off the history. All together, we just point them that way. That's it. Uh, so, um, they're going to appoint this black Pope uh, in Ghana. Well, that's where my girlfriend comes from. She's right on the right spot in Accra. I've got to go there and mark it, you see? Before he gets anywhere with anything. Right? Just just so that we got a claim. Of just one of the pictures, it's got her and the lines all crossing, where it goes from Giza to Ghana to East Cape to uh, East Island. And so that's just marking it, our title. Okay? Before the Pope goes in there, it's all over. They can't prove where their son comes from. Right? They're trying to run around now to prove the obelisk standing in the middle of the Vatican City has some meaning. They, they carried it there from Giza in North Africa. The black people put that together. Right? That's their uh, spirit, just like our Moa is our spirit. The Queen took it, put it over there, see? Wrong white people have no brains. Right? They suck in our brain right? and the money off the land by using our titles against us. Right? Wake up, people. Wake up, people. The truth is starting to catch these devils out. Right? They're from the West, the dark West. And just shine a light on them. Right? So I'll just finish off with this uh, um, video for this claim we're putting in uh, and we don't have to ask them for the money here because it's pittance anyway from the New Zealand government all we have to do is register it, get a number and link it to Britain the British are responsible for breaching our contract over there which puts this one here out right? once they breached it over there this contract here with the government of Wellington is gone so in comes the Maori government and take over right? they get the bill first we'll make sure they get our lawyer in London is going to give them the bill first. Right? We already said a trillion, trillion. That's what the Queen and the Pope and everybody else that screwed all the people in the world, the sovereign people, we call them, against the New World Order. The New World Order is the Pope. Right? They're trying to make the Black Pope the New World Order leader. No, no, no. They've got it all wrong. They're sinners. God doesn't like liars and a Pope running away. Right? He won't get far. And so this black Pope, he's in the wrong place too, because he's going to try and claim the sun. And it, like I said, it, over here, it's uh, uh, six, six, uh, six in the afternoon. Huh? It's six in the morning in Accra, Ghana, where my girlfriend is, yeah, Linda. And it's midnight in East Island, see, so those three points fixes this earth as it spins it spins on its north-south goes over to the left and that's where we have the three marks Giza, uh, I mean sorry Ghana, Accra, um, um, East Island right? and on the east here going like that, we've got Tipito, Tipito here, Tipito here with the Moai holding the world up, and we've got Linda over here in Ghana. Okay? So those are the sun spots, right? the sun going like this, and the world centre is that way with the north and south, but it's going like that. Okay? So that's how it crosses the fields to make the power of the generator of the world uh, power discharge at the bottom, charge at the top, north, right? where the, up there where Linda is down the south, and at the east, that's where the energy force is, okay, that's the power generator, it goes like this, and so we're over here swinging right around the outside, the furthest part out, okay? so that's the story about Uetaha, Maui, Wano, okay, of the east coast where the sun rises, claim the sun god Ra, in the story, nothing sinister or wrong about that. That's the truth. I just wanted to let you know uh, today. And thank you very much for watching. I will catch you later.
Bye for now.